Hello and welcome back to Kitty Plays Inherit the Earth Quest for the Orb. I'm Nighty the Black Panther Kitty and I'll be your host for this episode. Last time we did lots of things. We actually f explored <coughs> the secret room in the, or the closed up room in this in these ruins with the keycard that we found. We uh, didn't get ourselves captured by the wolves. But we did get freed from them <laughs> due to a glitch. And we also uh, got ourselves an oil lamp. So maybe if we find some dark place, we can now light the path. And we got friendly with Shiala and found a door for this weird device, as it seems. And now I think I'm going to explore the ruins again because I've got some hunch that we did not yet fully find everything here. And before I try going to that room, I have actually an idea. That one. There was this one sliding door that didn't open all the way and it said that the, that the rail was rusted. So maybe Hmm. Yeah. Looks like the tracks have rusted. The we can tracks. only open it a little bit. The tracks, not the rail. So I was thinking about using the oil. The oil should loosen it a bit. Thought so. It's open. So at first, I was actually thinking about uh, of of um. Look at these futuristic cars and buses and things so at first i was actually thinking of um using the cable somehow in that laboratory room and then i was while i was talking to you t saying talking about the lamp oil lamp i was thinking wait a second oil and there's this rusted door i wonder if the humans created these i wonder if the humans created these well, it used to be a can of paint. Now it's just a can of sludge. <laughs> screwdriver. It's a screwdriver. This might come in handy. I guess we pick it up. Maybe it's we can... It's way too heavy. No, no, no. I'll pick up the screwdriver. Maybe we can... Um... Looks like ancient tools. They are too old to be of any use now. Maybe we can use the screwdriver to actually get this white door open, which was like stuck maybe i actually thought it was not stuck but it was a door that opens electrically but maybe it is stuck and we just need either the oil or the screwdriver let's check out that also i can quickly tell you about the uh about the scene because we missed a little story part last time due to the glitch so when we walk up to the dam at the first time we get captured by the wolves and we get imprisoned in this cell that we were in and before Shayla Shayla helps us actually the raccoon that we are after reveals itself and talks to us and he says that now we will never get him except for that So, at this point of the game, we should already have seen said thing. Yep. And it is an electric door, but it was really just stuck. That's kind of weird. Like, let's see... Oh look, it's these um, some things where I don't know the English name of so, eruptions in, on the sun. It's a picture of a hot blast of fire, but why is it moving so slowly? Because it is so big. There's little moving dots of light on it. Amazing! That one looks like a picture of the sun. So 
So this looks like a big observatory. It looks like some kind of metal cupboard. It appears to be locked. Hmm. Maybe the key card? I have no idea how to use it or even what it's for. Oh, look, there is oh, a clock. It's got little glowing red symbols, and there's a little door on the back. A little door? Okay. Hey, a tiny golden cylinder popped out, and the little red numbers stopped glowing. Okay, wait a second. This? It's a little metallic cylinder that came out of the box with the glowing red numbers on it. This looks a lot like a battery. But if that battery is still charged, someone needs... I mean, the humans are gone for very, very long now. Someone needs to keep the battery charged and put it into a clock, right? Or these batteries last, like, forever. Well, the only thing... I, I remember that part. I remember that the battery, for some reason, the battery goes into this device. It seems to fit right inside. The jewels on the triangle started to glow. I'll bet this little cylinder has the power to make things glow. And I, ne even as a kid, I didn't understand how someone gets that idea without, without as my boyfriend keeps uh, calling it rubbing everything against everything so that's a part I, I don't get this triangle doesn't strike me as anything that I've that I know so I can't make a connection to the real world here the battery was easy the clock also and when I heard that there is uh, the door of course you want to open it but that triangle thing I mean you see the try I, I see the triangle hole here but nothing that no indication that I should have this will do the put trick. the battery in. It's going to do a trick. Just a figure of speech. It works. <laughs> nice trick. It looks like some sort of tunnel. That was the fastest door that I've seen in this game. Oh, look. Nothing special about it. Look at these dirty tunnels. Okay, so now this definitely is the generator in the dam. Okay, so this is tank the water if something catches fire. Ah, it's use letter, not walk up letter. Okay. That's a lot of water. But the video and anim the animation of the water that is looked like it's actually a video. Let's climb up this ladder. Now what's that? What kind of strange instrument is that? It looks like a welding robot. Yeah, it says repair unit. Those look like some sort of arms. It looks like some sort of writing surface. Yet the game calls it by name. It sounds hollow. I wonder what it's used for. 
They look like containers. Now that's that's really an interesting thing, right? We're inside a dam, inside the power station, uh, power generator of a dam. And those animals have not <laughs> end tour. They have not seen all of that yet. So there is a mattress to sleep and a glass window looking inside the lake. What a strange view. A lake from the side. This bed has been used recently and smells of raccoon. Oh, I think we are really close now. Oh yes, there he is. And yes, he did introduce us. Um, I think he did introduce himself to us as Chota. At least now the game calls him by name. As I said, we should already have seen him. And we missed, sadly, we missed that part because I ran into the wrong direction because I missed the few pixels that you need to click to go to the dam, which is a shame. You! I knew you had escaped the wolves, but I didn't expect you to find me here. Forgive me for underestimating your cleverness. You may dispense with the compliments. We are here for the Orb of Storms. No! I will not allow you to ruin my plans! Your plans are already ruined. Not all! <laughs> He's getting away! After him! Halt, Choda! You cannot escape us! You'll never take this sword! Never! Give yourself up! It is three against one! Three against two! And I promise you, I fight like five warriors! You see? You didn't know you had a wolf behind you, did you? Scar. That's nothing compared to what's behind you. What? I'm behind you. And I've got the orb. Why, you... Give me that orb! Throw it! Throw it! Throw it to... Me? Now, Paul, prepare to meet your doom. Perhaps not. You fight like five warriors, eh? Too bad the other four didn't show up. Ah! 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 Yes, finally, Ock did something. <laughs> Give me that orb! I think not. Aren't you tired yet? Whoa! Uh -oh. That's it for the Orb of Storms. I wonder what they'll do with us. Kill you. At this point, I just about had my fill of kings and orbs and dogs and wolves. Only one thing is left that matters to me now. Green. Let's go home and find him. Hear ye, hear ye. We are gathered together to honor those heroes who saved the Orb of Storms from falling into enemy hands. The brave and honorable Riff, Ark, and Ea. But what about the fox? He did not return the orb as he was told. He must be punished. Okay. Riff committed no crime. The true thief has already received his just punishment. But how will we survive without the orb? Yes, how will we know when to plant and harvest? We can watch the moon and the stars. Like Tygo Northpaw, the astronomer. We can also keep records like Sis the Rat. By combining both of these methods, we will be able to read the seasons for ourselves. We do not need the Orb of Storms. We do not need any orb. We have hearts. We have minds. We are more. Well said. Well done. Let us celebrate this day. But where is Reem? Oh, Rip, you're safe. I was so worried about you. About me? Are you all right? Did they hurt you? No, I'm fine. Now. Come, 
let us join the party and celebrate. Captain Ark, Captain Ea. Yes, come on, Riff. You're a hero. Oh, I'm no hero. I just... just... Just what? I just didn't want anything to happen to you. I know. That's why you're my hero. I may not have a gold medal for you, but... Uh, but? Unit functioning. Dry period is active. Priority request. Set date for ending dry period. Unit awaiting input. Um... Awaiting input. Awaiting input. Uh... That's not good. And while I wipe the last tear from my eyes from this heartwarming scene, I also have to thank you for watching Kitty Plays Inherit the Earth, The Quest for the Orb. Again, this is the Windows version, published by Wormkeep Entertainment. They are the ones who now own the rights. I don't know if they are the original developers and they just renamed themselves, but they now own the rights. And at some point in time, they have had made a Kickstarter campaign to make a second part of that game. But that Kickstarter sadly failed. So now they're making a webcomic on InheritTheEarth.net. Altogether, no dashes, I'm going to put the link to the description. And they're also selling hard copies of that comic. So that comic directly continues the story of this game. And there is also a Patreon of Wormkeep Entertainment where they still promise to make the game. I am um, supporting them on Patreon. However, I don't believe that they will make the game. I am supporting them mainly for the webcomic. But they also have this goal that when they have $450 each month that there will be updates on the game. I guess they will need the $450 to actually do the game. And there it says, 1994 The Dreamers Guild Incorporated, 2003 The Worm Keep Entertainment Company. And as it says, the final credit does it go to me for playing the game? <laughs> and there it just exited without any animation or something. It doesn't go to me for playing the game. It goes to you for watching my Let's Plays. And I hope we'll see each other in the next season of Kitty Plays. I wonder what game I'll be playing next. And I wonder if it'll be German or English. Hmm, so many choices. Maybe... You can suggest me new games in the comments that you want to see. Maybe I will play them, maybe not. We'll see. For now, I bid you farewell. Have a safe, nice, and happy day and nights. Yeah. <laughs> what else there is to say? Bye-bye.